there is great concern regarding the situation in Papua New Guinea. Papua New Guinea recorded an estimated 72,000 individuals living with HIV, PLHIV, in the year 2022. This puts the national prevalence rate of HIV among adults at a high of 1%, which is the highest it has been in 12 years. As for PLHIV awareness and treatment figures within that same year, around 70% were aware of their condition while 87% out of those who knew began taking medication. Papua New Guinea is facing a concerning surge in new HIV infections, with approximately 18 cases per day, projected to reach around 6,500 by the year 2022, marking an astounding rise of 131% compared to figures from back in 2010. The majority of provinces are recording a continuous increase in newly reported incidents. It is estimated that about 800 newborns acquire HIV annually from infected mothers, resulting in an average of two new cases daily by the year 2022. Having multiple unprotected sexual encounters is a leading cause of acquiring new infections. Sexual contact serves as the primary method of transmission. Around 1,100 fatalities were ascribed to AIDS in the previous year. The mortality rate associated with this illness has stayed constant when compared to that of the year 2010. Urgent action is necessary. Mr. Murphy stressed the significance of HIV testing and urged for its enlargement by introducing self-testing and community-based options, specifically targeting key populations and young individuals who are more susceptible to contracting the virus. Regular HIV testing is crucial in early intervention and prevention as it enables one to be aware of their status. He advocated for the adoption of innovative technologies such as pre-exposure prophylaxis, also known as PrEP, a highly effective HIV prevention method that involves administering medication to individuals who are HIV negative in order to significantly reduce their risk of contracting the virus. He further urged healthcare professionals, policymakers and community influencers alike to actively promote the use of PrEP. In his plea, Mr. Murphy implored the authorities and collaborative bodies to assign more capital and execute pioneering approaches so as to accomplish the 959595 objectives by 2030, assuring that individuals living with HIV are aware of their status at a rate of 95%, providing antiretroviral therapy for diagnosed patients up to a level of 95% and verifying viral suppression for 95% treated population. Alongside prevention and treatment methods, the regional director emphasized to stakeholders the importance of addressing root social and structural causes that contribute to HIV transmission. These include poverty, gender inequality, violence, as well as violations of human rights. The U equals U, undetectable equals untransmittable, approach is a vital strategy that maintains individuals with HIV who comply with antiretroviral therapy can prevent transmission of the virus through sexual intercourse as long as they keep the viral load undetected. The significance of eliminating discrimination and intolerance towards key populations, including people living with HIV, AIDS, PLHIV, was highlighted by Mr. Murphy. In order to accomplish this objective, Civil society groups and community-based organizations must actively champion for their rights while providing support to these vulnerable communities. As a unified force, both UNAIDS and the entirety of United Nations are lending their support to Papua New Guinea in combating the AIDS epidemic. Our resolve stands firm eliminating AIDS as a threat to public health before 2030 is an objective we share.